is the Temple of the Muses in Alexandria, the earliest museum. There are many museums in the world, some of which are well known, such as the British Museum. According to the dictionary definition, a museum is a non-profit permanent institution open to the public. It can be inferred that once a country has a museum, it signifies that the civilization of that country has reached a certain level. So, which is the earliest museum in the world? In the 4th century BC, a young and ambitious emperor appeared in Macedonia, and that was Alexander the Great. Alexander aimed to expand his territory eastward into Asia, so he marched eastward, and wherever he went, all submitted to him, thus he also acquired a large amount of spoils of war. Some people are born to strive rather than enjoy, and Alexander was only interested in victory. Faced with these spoils of war, he had no interest and entrusted these exotic treasures to his teacher, the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, for safekeeping. Aristotle diligently classified and organized the treasures collected by the emperor, never thinking of embezzlement because he, after all, married a princess of a small country and was not short of money. Just as Alexander was ambitious and ready to eliminate the Persian Empire and embark on an expedition to India, the situation changed. The soldiers no longer wanted to fight, and Alexander also fell ill with a high fever, ultimately dying in Babylon. After Alexander's death, Ptolemy, the governor of Egypt, immediately declared himself emperor in Egypt and announced the construction of the Temple of the Muses in Alexandria around 290 BC. The Muses are the nine goddesses in ancient Greek mythology who preside over the arts and sciences, so the function of the Temple of the Muses is self-evident, which is a place for storing precious artworks and rare antiques. This museum has specialized halls and research laboratories for displaying astronomical, medical, and cultural artifacts. Ptolemy I also spent a lot of money hiring many expert scholars to conduct research in the Temple of the Muses, such as the famous mathematician Euclid, physicist Archimedes, etc. Therefore, compared with general museums, the Temple of the Muses is actually more like a research institute. However, in any case, the Temple of the Muses is the world's first building truly belonging to the public, so it was warmly welcomed by the Egyptians. People can admire various sculptures, astronomical instruments, medical instruments inside, distinguish various plants and animals, and even go to the monastery next to the temple to purify their souls. Because the concept of the Temple of the Muses as the first museum in history has long been deeply rooted in people's minds, so much so that the English word, museum, today evolved from the Greek word, muses. By the 5th century AD, the Temple of the Muses unfortunately was destroyed by war, and only some broken walls and columns remain to this day. However, it still plays a positive role. It was because of it that the nobles, aristocrats, and wealthy scholars of Western generations were inspired to cultivate a hobby of collecting antiques. By the Middle Ages, with the increasing power of the church, Many private collectors donated many of their own collections to churches and monasteries, thus evolving into more museums, leaving behind precious heritage for human history.